So I've got a bit of a serious question for you guys. When you walk into a house or an apartment, do you prefer the light switches to be on the outside or on the inside of the doors? I've just moved into a new apartment this week and the light switches in the bathroom are on the inside. The light switches for the bedroom are on the outside. I'm not sure which I prefer, but let me know what you guys think about light switches. Anyway, moving on. Tomorrow, I am racing the Tracker 200 gravel race here in Girona. This is a 200 kilometer gravel race. I've never done it before. I've only done two gravel races in my entire life before, including the fact that I haven't ridden my gravel bike for six weeks. So tomorrow morning on Sunday, I'm rolling out at 7 a.m. I'm gonna race the Tracker 200 gravel race. Before we get there though, I'm going to whack on some new shoes. Bont Cycling have sent me a nice pair of Vapor G's. They've got my name on them, which is pretty bloody epic. I'm gonna chuck them on. I'm gonna take my gravel bike for a little spin around. I'm gonna go and register for the race. And then I'm going to race the race tomorrow morning. That's enough chatting for the moment. Let's go and heat mold some shoes, get my bike ready, get out for a spin. I'll chat to you guys soon. Three Tobolitos, three CO2s, a tubeless dart system, a couple of tire levers, right in there, done. So the thing I like about Bonts is the fact that not only are they fully customizable on the website in terms of colors and getting your name on the things, but the fact that they're fully heat moldable. So these are a carbon sole on these shoes and they're designed to be put in the oven and then molded onto your feet. So you pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes, then you pop them on your feet, you tighten them down and they should mold even just that little bit more to your foot shape. So for someone like me, who's got a bit of a bump on my right foot, uh, the right shoe can be molded to fit my feet really, really well. I've got them on my feet right now. I'm just waiting for them to cool down. Then I'm gonna go out for a ride and I'll chat to you guys from on the road. Alrighty, so I'm out here on the road and uh, I'm just gonna do the first 30 Ks of tomorrow's race. The uh, Tracker event organizers actually have two events happening this weekend. There's the Tracker 360, which is a 360 kilometer gravel race and they have the Tracker 200. I think the 200 is gonna be a real serious race. There's a few proper hitters coming, but from all preliminary reports, it sounds like the 360 rolled out this morning at absolutely max speed. I think they went from a group of 200 down to a group of about 25 within about the first 20 kilometers of a 360 kilometer race. So real punchy. The other preliminary report I've had is that the first 30 kilometers is actually quite technical. There's a lot of ups, a lot of downs. It's really important to be near the front of the race to stay out of trouble. I've already heard of one snapped bicycle this morning. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a gnarly start, but I'm gonna go and reek on the first 20 to 30 kilometers now just to see what I'm in store for. Let's see how this goes. I'll see you guys on the other side of this recon ride. Every time I look out, I'm on my lookout. Cause niggas tripping. No, I ain't hoping. No sense in voting for politicians. All of that hating. Don't be creating. Food in my kitchen. All of that talking without no walking. Can't help my vision. When I step out and put my neck out, they try to play me. So I don't go out without my blowout. Brought that 380. All of my brothers pray for their mothers. Cause I can't tame them. Got no answer. Can't kill their cancer. How can you blame them? I was hoping I could be open with all my feelings. But now fuck it. I take that bucky without no ceilings. I've been praying, but I ain't saying that I ain't stressing. I ain't moping cause I'm just hoping I learned my lesson. I need G's for all my G's, so could you please try? Off your knees and on your P's, don't let your dreams die. I plant my seed to fill your need to get your brain food. If you like me, the shit you see, it give you strange moves. So I'm just praying for answers. I know they hiding the truth from us. Pray for protection. I know they plotting on newcomers. Right through the city, my reefer reeking, my speaker speaking. My conscience stressing, but I be knowing that he be tweaking. Say I was thinking this weekend, we get to Lincoln up. Uh, but some of that good in the wood and we fought the Lincoln up. Uh, she understanding my language, I think she speaking well. She eats the pain on my brain, it's causing my people hell. And since you looking, I'm looking, maybe we find a way to put your heart to the surface and put your mind away they dropped us here on a dying planet without permission no pots of pissing they're trying to offer you propositions what about my struggle be funny they call it entertaining niggas got them snakes in they huddle watch me entertain exciting times zip tied the saddle to the seat What's right? His saddle's broken, isn't it? Yeah, he zip tied it to the uh, Yo, he zips, yeah, yeah. to the saddlebag, and then zip tied the whole thing around his frame or something. 
Is that not the most Lachlan Morton thing you've ever heard of? Come on, Dini! So it's uh, 6.40 a.m. I'm just rolling to the start of the race now. I think today's gonna get pretty hectic. I've got some wet shoes from yesterday's recon. I rode around in the pouring rain for a good couple of hours testing out the first 35 k's of the event. And uh, there's a few good spots where you have to cross some rivers, hike up some little banks, and uh, go through some single track that's super, super wet. So it's gonna string things out real early. On top of that, I was having a look through the start list last night, and there's some proper weapons coming today. Guys like Lawrence Tendam, Peter Vakoch, Dennis Van Winden and uh, a bunch of other guys who are just absolute weapons on the gravel bike. Heaps of cyclists around. I think there's about 300 people signed on. So yeah, heading off to the start now. The race starts in about 20 minutes. Alrighty, so just at the start here, when I came to register last night, got to watch the uh, 360 roll in. Mattia DeMarchi came first, Lachlan Morton EF came second after he snapped off his saddle at about the 260 kilometer mark out of 360. And then there was a sprint for third and Diedrich Dielen was fourth, which was actually sick. Really big result for Didi, so I want to give him a little shout out there. And uh, yeah, that was mad to watch the end of that. Cool to see the event, how well organized it is, how many people stoked on it, and uh, yeah, how big gravel racing is getting here in Girona. Alrighty, Brody, my Chapman, you are the MVP of Ronda Van Blanderen doing a gravel race uh, on your LaPierre road bike. It's a gravel bike today, my friend. It's got mountain bike pedals and 28 mil tires. <laughs> that's because that's a little bit in the frame. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of time back in this race. I'm hoping that's where I'm going to get an advantage. It could be like bringing a knife to a gunfight or it could be uh, a fun day. It could be a secret weapon, that thing. It could be. I Slick mean, tires. it has gotten through said Ronda Van Flanderen and also uh, Strada Bianchi, so I'm hoping that <laughs> it's similar. <laughs> Everybody else here is very well equipped with gravel bikes, so we'll see. I have a tube. <laughs> <laughs> and right. yeah, okay, you might see, see me go. out there. We might see you. Justin Weeks, uh, how are we? Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. You're going to warm up nice and quickly. I hope so. It just goes straight <laughs> uphill for the first few Ks. I'm excited yeah. to see it. Just what are your expectations for uh, for this morning? <laughs> to finish this morning? Uh, well, with the people partying behind my house last night, it, it wasn't optimal sleep conditions. So okay. I can use that as an excuse. You were starting with the excuses yeah, nice yeah. and early this morning. And, uh, and I'm cold, so... Yeah. That won't be an excuse for long. Yeah. You gotta warm right up. I'm with a small group. The weird thing is the track today that I'm riding is completely different to what I downloaded yesterday. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm just gonna follow these guys. Hopefully we end up in the right place. I'm just chopping off on our way out to the coast. Pace is on. This is a totally different sport to road racing, that's for sure.
about uh, 105 k's in, just over halfway. We're about to hit the main climb of the day, a bit to the south of Girona. I can't even tell you guys how cooked I am. We're only halfway and I'm so, so fucked. Better keep pushing to stay with this group. Dan from Nam, how are we? More relaxed than most people. Yeah. <laughs> More relaxed than I am, that's for sure. There we go. Mate, you it's look so fresh brutal. though. I don't yeah. feel fresh. You know, relative. I feel reverse fresh. <laughs> Negative <laughs> freshness in me. Alright, let's keep going. Whoa. Give us one of these ones. Woo. Holy dooly, that was brutal. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Justin! How was that? Did it work out the way we spoke about this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like that. You warmed up? Yeah, yeah. I warmed up quick. Huh. Uh, I need a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, time to go home. Go and recover. I'll chat to you guys shortly. Alrighty, oofed. That is a massive day done. The longest gravel race I've ever done in my life. Actually, only my third gravel race of all time. The other two were also by class mark bike. I did La Santaval last year and I did La Santaval this year. La Santaval that I did this year, that was about eight weeks ago. And that was actually the last time I rode my gravel bike other than yesterday. So two gravel races in three rides. I haven't done a lot of riding on the gravel bike. What a day out. Such a massive crowd of people, such a good vibe at that event. Event. Massive, massive shout out to Classmark for putting that one on. After watching a bunch of guys roll in yesterday for the 360, I was kind of G'd to start my day. So we rolled out with this massive group of people. We started going up the first climb and I quickly realized that the route that I had was the wrong route. So the 30Ks that I had wrecked yesterday was not actually the 30Ks that we were doing to start off the race today. So we ended up on completely different gravel roads. I had no idea where we were going. Gravel riding is just a different beast. It's a whole different sport. It requires way more raw power and for me at about 61 and a half kilos I just don't have the raw watts to push through the softer sand and uh, gravel and the mud and things like that that the bigger guys do so anyway we rolled out I uh, ended up in the second group I probably didn't roll out far enough towards the front we rolled into the first feed zone and our group of about 15 guys went like this. Half of them decided they were not stopping at the feed zone and half of them decided they were stopping. I needed to stop because I was already pretty cooked. This was around kilometer 75 or so. I stopped, I got water, and then I quickly realized that uh, the others had left. So not only had that first group gone through and kept riding, but the group that I was then with had already left as well. So I had to chase them down. Eventually I caught back up. We had a group of about six or eight of us. Everyone was pretty tired by this stage. We rolled through the 100 kilometer mark and honestly at 100 kilometers, I really started to think to myself, how am I gonna do another 100 kilometers? This was just so, so brutal. One thing that has been good though, I can say lately, although I haven't been riding gravel, I have been doing a lot of riding solo and I've been doing a lot of quite difficult rides solo just to get myself used to racing. And so that it meant that in the second half of the race, when everybody else started to tire after that first brutal 100 kilometers, I still had power in my legs. Funnily enough, I also had been eating quite early in the race. I think that's maybe why I was not feeling 
feeling so good in the first 100Ks because I ate quite a lot knowing that I was going to be burning so many calories. All the blood was going from my legs into my stomach to process the food that I was eating. But what that meant was that in the second half of the race and in particular in the final 50Ks, I had way more power than a lot of the other guys and guys started getting dropped and our group went from eight guys down to seven guys, down to six guys. Eventually there were four of us for quite a long time and then eventually one of them detonated on a climb. So there was just three of us left. We rolled turns all the way to the finish and then had a little sprint. I was lucky enough to win the sprint out of the three of us. So I ended up just outside the top 10. I got 13th place for the race today. Really happy with the result, especially because I haven't been riding the gravel bike lately. So we came through the line there. I went and got some food and I had a sit down and just on the grass. Such a good vibe, as I said before, at the class mark events. They're a really fun thing to do. Super local to us here in Girona, but heaps of people traveled for it. A lot of guys have traveled from France and the Netherlands and different parts of Spain to come and race here. So if you're ever thinking of coming to Girona for a holiday and you want to do some gravel riding or you want to do in a gravel event, I would recommend planning a holiday around one of the class mark events. There's a number of them every year. They hold running events, they hold gravel events, they hold mountain bike events. So it was really cool to sit there, soak up some sunshine. We're coming into spring now and it's absolutely beautiful outside and uh, made for a really, really good day. One of the other things I want to say is that was actually the last ride that I'm going to do on my uh, Bell gravel bike, which is made by Kiko Bele in Barcelona. Kiko was actually at the race today. So it was really good to catch up with him. The reason it's gonna be my last ride on that bike is because my new BMC gravel bike is arriving very, very shortly. Really looking forward to unboxing that one and taking it out for a spin. I'm gonna be making a video about that bike. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you can keep in touch and see what I get up to on my new BMC gravel bike. For the moment, it's Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna put my legs up and relax. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I will see you guys all in the next episode of Tristan Take Video very, very soon. All right, I'll see you.